from here. Smell of Delta. <laughs> yeah, spring is here. It's about uh, seven degrees today. Winds are light out of the northwest. That's some five kilometers an hour. A couple of weather stations here. Anyway, little project. Put these eye bolts in um, on this Pelican sled that you haul behind the uh, snowmobile. <coughs> Excuse me. It's already spots where you can drill your holes. So I've already done that. And uh, I got a few of them already in, but uh, I think it's not sure how many all together, but got all the supplies there. Lock washers, regular washers, and double nuts. And uh, two wrenches, 9 16th or uh, 14 mil. And we'll get that secured. The reason why I'm putting them this way is there's a cover I can go on the top of it on the top of this and if I have the eye bolts on the bottom I can still use the cover and if I've got a bulk load that's kind of rounded over the top use some rope I've got about 30 feet of rope there and you just lash it back and forth screw the load so that's today's project these eye bolts the rest of them put on and, uh, That'll be it. I won't be using any more this year. Just a couple nights ago, a meteorite landed somewhere in the snow right there. Too soft for me to go out and have a look today. You wouldn't find anything anyways. No traces of a meteorite. A meteor you would, but not a meteorite. It's uh, smaller than your pinky nail. Anyway. I thought that was pretty cool to witness that the other night. I was out, stood up on my on my steps on the deck and uh, happened to look towards the west and seen it land. Anyway, when I get it done, I'll check back. All right, guys. So it's all done. Fourteen eye bolts installed. Like I say, they all had spots there for uh, to pre-drill. Um, like I say, it's a it's a heavy poly polypropylene or some sort of Teflon. They got Teflon runners. These are just uh, the cheap Pelican ones, but when you reinforce uh, inside here on the uh, on the mounts here where the tow bar hooks up, you got a pretty darn good sled. So. These 14 eye bolts now secured. Uh, and the way that I've got them done, you can still use the cover that comes with it, or you can get another cover made up. But I like to cover uh, cover it all up to keep everything dry. And if you've got a rounded load, um, you can use your rope now or bungee cords, whatever you prefer, to secure the load and uh, utilize these. So I got that size of a of a of an eye bolt because you can use a heavy a heavy uh, rope so I think this sled is certified to haul up to 500 pounds payload so that's that's enough but yeah didn't take long at all pretty simple straightforward probably about, uh, $20 I guess in eye bolts and nuts and bolts and washers so Uh, good job done now for next year so like I say we'll be able to secure uh, loads a lot better I like it simple little thing like I say it's easier than just having the holes if you just had the holes you got to be stringing the rope through all the time and it's difficult to be weaving in and out and, and at least this way it's a lot quicker and a lot easier and they're out of the way because remember this sled is bottom bottom side up so anyway that's it for now I want to throw in 
the Toronto. Pretty dry air today, not much of a contrail. Anyway, great project to have done and out of the way. It's one less uh, thing to do for next season. Next uh, snowmobile season. You can see the wood is uh, drying. Already, it's already dry, but it's starting to crack open just with the sun. Anyway. That's it for now. As always, take care and thanks for watching. April 21st. Red Indian Ike. Hi everyone, um, just out, uh, just out for a stroll. Um, too nice of a day. Oh, look at that bug just landed on me. Hmm. Spring. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's uh, as you can see, it is one heck of a day. It's April twenty-first, and. Uh, Probably about seven degrees Celsius, I guess. It should be, I guess, mid 40s. And uh, trying my best to get some exercise. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's nice. The lake has dropped significantly, but the ice is still. Uh, Ice is still pretty, pretty good. Um, normally, Red Indian Lake doesn't uh, freeze over like this in the last probably 15, 20 years. But this winter, like everywhere else, uh, meteorologists and scientists and everyone has been. Uh, Trying to figure out what's going on, global warming or what. And, well, just my thoughts. Uh, some Inuit uh, elders up in the Arctic have been telling NASA and the scientists this past year about the last couple of years and what's been going on. And I tend to favor with their speculation and their their ideas and after all they've been they've been around for a while but they've been experiencing that the sun has been coming up different spot recent years they figure the uh they figure that the earth has shifted so and uh it's not global warming as such that's doing all this it's uh it's the earth that's shifted so um Explain why the sun rises in a different spot now than it did years ago, and all that. But uh, words of wisdom by by many that uh, are close to the uh, to the land, nature, and uh, some of you may figure that I'm just blabbing on or whatever. But um, maybe it is a growing concern that we should be uh, further investigating and because after all this is uh, this is the only planet that we're able to live on as of now and there are going to be some major issues with uh, extreme weather conditions and those sorts well everybody worldwide is in for a rude awakening aren't we anyway just my thoughts with that uh, you can 
probably hear that. Lots of uh, water is running underneath me. I wouldn't travel out through here because obviously the water is eroding from underneath, which happens in springtime, which makes it unsafe for travel. So, especially along the uh, the shoreline. So, so yeah, it's, it's just a nice day to be out. Um, can't wait for the snow to go, actually, and um, start enjoying the summer stuff. It's, uh, got some winter, winter, uh, winter chores taken care of earlier today and that's all done so for next year anyway just figured i'd uh, take you along and share with you uh beautiful spring day here on red indian lake these guys take care thanks for watching